the process for me, because I primarily work in photography, is I've, I've always liked having a more hands-on connection, a tangible interaction with it. So rather than, I, I never found it satisfying just to take images and print them and that's it. I, I like to still print by hand in the dark room and then with this print I really like the hand coloring aspect essentially because I get to cover the whole image with a, a transparent color but also it's that working over the surface so I feel I've put more of a handmade piece into each work than if I had just digitally output the, the uh, image. This series came about uh, really as a continuation of a lot of images I've done over a long period of time that have a, a reference to old calendar imagery, um, certainly old travel souvenir posters at any time a country, whether you look at uh, North America, including Mexico, or Europe, there's many times, there's always that allure and exoticism, especially of uh, a female figure, and very rarely are they uh, authentic in the ethnicity they're trying to portray, if that's what's being portrayed. So, but I really like that um, that romantic travel imagery. So it's it's influenced me a lot over the years, and I've always enjoyed, especially the great um, Mexican illustrators and their calendar, their history of, of chromolithos and calendar art, and also um, the old Canadian uh, railway, the CP hotel uh, posters that, again, had just wonderful illustrations. But also, I really liked that early uh, Indian maiden art that came out of, was very rarely uh, showing authentic ethnicity, but and more like a nod to Maxfield Parrish style illustration and had the dreamy romantic backgrounds. Very often the moon would be presented in that. And on its own, way, if you look at it as, a, as the Indian maiden being the myth, then I thought I would incorporate backdrops that were not uh, real photo scenes. So whether it's like a, a reproduction of a photo I've taken of a painted backdrop from a photographer's studio, or a paint by number that's being used as the backdrop, or uh, lithos from old, uh, say, 1970s, really bad prints, where they maybe that hung over people's mantelpieces, uh, those sorts of things, then I, I was, didn't want to make them in any way offensive in a stereotype or a bad stereotype, but I wanted to make it more the, uh, more like a naive and romanticized image, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I like the idea of taboo in the sense that because it represents a time that may make people uncomfortable, or the fact is that it's not uh, authentic in its portrayal of ethnicity or what many of these women were burlesque performers. So their imagery was very much uh, studio shots and they would largely be photographed always in front of either a plain white or a plain back, uh, black background. Uh, and I find that just by putting them in front of this new backdrop, you suddenly, it's sort of setting a single, a still image that maybe there's a story there which didn't exist when it was just a publicity shot of this person. Mm -hmm. 